Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an intuitive energy reading, not a horoscope. So it's picking up on Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, but also Mars, Mercury, Venus, wherever Pisces energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days or something like that. You know, when and the message reaches you when it's supposed to reach you. So if you see this six months from now, believe me, it, it popped up in your feed for a reason. Um, Pisces, whew, um, Let's get right in. Yeah, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a full Oracle, Oracle card spread here on YouTube. Um, we're gonna get into the energies and then our, I will articulate um, the occurrences and actualities of that energy reading um, in tarot in an extended reading, uh, which includes a romance reading and predictions as well. That link to the extended is always in the description box and it's in the comments below. If you do love this video, and I hope you do, please do like it and share it on all your social media profiles and um, subscribe to my channel to help this channel grow. We'd really appreciate it. All right, Pisces. All right. This is a rebirth is assured. A transitional period for you? Absolutely. But you're taking time. You're pausing. It's almost like you're sitting back and you know this change is happening. And you know that it's a change that you've wanted. And it's almost like you're sitting back and taking this breath and being, and just enjoying the last sweet, um, melancholy sweet, not bittersweet, but melancholy sweetness of the last remnants of your old life before you go into the new one. Because you really just, not because you want to hold on to it and you're not ready to let go, because you are ready to let go and you are ready to change and shift into this old mode, but you want to pay it homage. You want to pay it respect and honor and dignify all that you've become because of what you've experienced. And so it's like kissing something goodbye as you sort of throw it into the fire to burn it. Um, um, waving goodbye and that long wave goodbye as you watch a moving truck go away. You're not rushing after it. You're not begging it to stay. You are ready to let this go. You are letting it go. You're actually in that process, but there is this crowning energy of paying homage to it as you say goodbye. What a beautiful energy for you to be in during your season because your life is definitely changing. Oh, it is. And I do feel like it's on the upswing. Oh, it is on the upswing. Oh, but we got the elephant energy too. Elephant is learn from the past. And this is why you're paying homage. This is why you're, this is why you're honoring what you have. Why? Because you know, on some level, Pisces, on all levels, you know that the past has made you who you are, that you're standing on the surface today because you stand on the, um, the cornerstones and the bricks and the basement and all that, that, um, um, give me, give me a second because my words have been twisted. Um, this is, this is definitely the mercury red. It has been affecting me like this. Usually doesn't affect me like this, but it has been affecting me like this since the shadow period of just not being able to take my thoughts and get them out the way that I normally do. So I apologize, Pisces, but, um, on the, um, foundation you're you you know that you stand here it's like it's like it matters that much more to you now that you're going you're 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 verging on this new life of success you're looking at success the sun is rising but you're just like you feel so much more grateful and gratitude because it's almost like you can feel every one of those stones under your feet because you place them there and it's like you have so much respect and it's almost like crying. I feel like crying because you're like all those bad relationships, all those heartbreaks, all those hurts, all those pains have brought me to this moment of triumph. And that is that beautiful dawning in front of you right now. Learning from the past, uh, two plus five is the energy of seven. So creation, you have created your future. You've created your, your now on on what you've lived through. And for you, in so many ways, the past never really ends. It's always like this big cycle with you. Like you can feel it. You can, it's like you're living, you can feel the ghosts are still alive. And, and you're, it's not that you're scared of them or being haunted by them. 
It's that they're always there to remind you of how to be stronger and what direction you should move you should move to, right? Um, based on the mistakes that you made in the past, you've learned, you've learned how to shape where you are now. You've learned how to be who you are now. And this is hard work. This is being filled with your sense of self, being strong with your sense of self, having your heart chakra wide open and feeling fulfilled. This is public recognition being realized, success galore, licking and dripping in the honey like Winnie the Pooh. Ah, but Remember, you're not Winnie the Pooh, you're the bee. You worked your butt off for this honey. This honey is coming in for you. You're, you're getting the opportunity of your lifetime, but it's, it's a lifetime of work that's led you here. Beautiful energy. Um, elephants are also creatures of the heart. They attach very strongly onto family and friends. And I think there is a strong connection with feeling a lot of gratitude toward your lineage and to where you came from and sort of paying homage to where you came from and who helped you get there. Lo like loving the fact that you're not alone through this change. Be playful. No, this is not a playful. This is this is going underneath. This is going deep. This is looking beneath the surface. This is not a time to be skipping happy dappy dippy dippy jumpy jumpy. It's not it's not that. There is a melancholy to this time, but it's a triumphant melancholy. And this is what you're doing. It's almost like going down memory lane before you leave to go to college or um strolling down memory lane. This is your roots acknowledging your roots, paying homage to your roots and what came before. The central energy is be here now, surrender now. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you could be, it seems like you're letting go and you're releasing and you're relinquishing or you're taking the, you're making the decision to just cast yourself forward into the future. The central energy for you is the future. Your focus is on the future, which is very different for you because uh, water signs are always focused on the past and the history um, um, and the memory. But it's through those memories, the memories are launching you forward. Think of the Sagittarius uh, bow and arrow. Um, those memories have, have pushed you forward. They're the ones that are driving you forward. And like a moth to a flame, this is energy of moth to a flame, you're just gonna head right into the sun. You're just going to head right into it. I don't think you're going to get burned, though. Hey, stop. My puppy is once again tearing up my room, so I apologize. I apologize for the interruption. Um, but this is the energy of nine plus three. It's three. The energy of three. This is holy trinity, holy divinity. You, you are not worried right now about crashing and burning because you know that spirit has got your back. You can feel that the timing is right and that you're going to be, you're, you're going to be fine. And this, you know why this comes from experience. This comes from your intuition and your intuition is a product of your experiences, your experiences that form pattern recognition so that you can instantaneously recognize what's going to happen. So even though it doesn't make sense outwardly, there's no signs that you, that can tell you you're going to be okay. You are, you, there's absolute certainty here. You know that you're going to be okay because of what's happened before, because of your intuition and because of what you've learned and gotten and lived through because of all that hard work, because you stand on your own foundation. It's like, it's like you, you have, you don't have to see, you don't have to see the foundation of a building to know that it's there because you laid the bricks. Take a leap of faith, just go. With these two cards next to each other, both energy of three, it's divine timing. You're ready, you're balanced. Spirit wants you to go that way. You're 100% in sync. This is perfect synchronicity. Pisces, this is you having good luck and good fortune. These are opportunities coming through to you. I'm so happy for you. Um, take a leap of faith, just jump, just go. This is good luck. And this is also vibrations, because remember grasshoppers make those vibrations with their back legs. You can feel, you're connected to the vibration of all of this. You can feel it coming through for you. And it is, this is it. You're about to get an offer, a huge offer that's gonna change your life. Watch and wait, this is your energy. You're showing up in your reading. Five plus three is the energy of eight, which is destiny. 
destiny, destiny, destiny faded to happen. And you've waited for this for a long time. You've been looking for it. You've been waiting for it. You've had patience. You've believed in it. I think that that's what I want to say. This is something that you have believed in a very long time. And now it's happening. Also, this is an energy of parenting, right? He's the papa energy, but he's the parent. This is the energy of you've cultivated this. You've birthed it yourself. You have never given up on this. And now you're seeing it blossom and bloom and it's just filling your heart with such joy. You're about to burst and explode, but don't worry. Let yourself, let yourself burst and explode because you know what? That's just going to launch you into your, your future. It's going to launch you into the place that you need to go. If you have a Sagittarius in your life, you could be basically leaping into a circumstance or a situation with them that you, um, that has been sort of hemming and hawing for a long time, um, but now you're ready. Um, be at home, wombat spirit. This is heart chakra energy, sort of Cancerian or Virgo energy, living in the home space, a home space of knowing where your heart is, knowing where your heart lives, or getting fulfillment uh, of your heart space, of what really, of your love, of what matters to you. So this is definitely something that you love coming to fulfillment. The energy of six plus eight is 14, which is five, a big change or a big shift in what makes you happy. So it could be um, you never wanted children, but now you do. It could be, oh, you never thought that you'd end up with this person, but you have, and it's everything that you've ever wanted. You could, you could be, um, you could be uh, get, getting out of a relationship because you're finally ready to release it and let it go because you know something better lies on the other side. It, it's a, it's a shift and it's a change, but it's a happiness. It's like, yes, you are letting something go and you are kissing the past goodbye, but you're doing it in celebration. You're doing it to celebrate all that it's given you. This isn't hurtful. It's the only way you could say goodbye to something, Pisces. Because if it was hurt and paining you and stressing you, you would still be looking for answers to, to, to solve it or uh, to heal it. But this is healed. There's nothing, there's nothing here that needs to be healed. This is the time. It's ready to happen. It's ready to dawn. And you can feel you abs it's not that you can just feel this ending coming. More than the ending, you feel the future. You know what's happening in your future. The offers are coming in. You you it's like it's like it's like your Oscars acceptance speech, right? It's like it's like standing there in your triumph and then bawling your eyes out, remembering all that happened to get you to this point. So you, you, it's been confirmed. Your abundance has been confirmed. You know what you want. You know where you're going and you know it's going to work out. Something to do with the home and the heart space. Yeah, definitely the heart space. Time for a beginner, time for a deep dive. This is la vie en rose. Love has to do with love. Fakes makes you feel loopy, makes you feel unbalanced, but oh my God, you're just, you're reveling in it. So it has something to do with romance. This is part of your grounding energy. This is also Libra energy, which is peace, which is romance, which is the house of partnerships. I think you're willing to finally take a leap of faith in somebody. Um, you may be willing to commit to somebody or finding some, or, or like I said, this could have nothing to do with romance and have everything to do with your heart being so full that your life is la vie en rose. It's painted in pink. It's like your dreams manifested and coming true, but still something that's like your heart fulfillment. It fills your heart space. So this would be a lifelong goal realized, a career benchmark realized or met, um, a level up in your career. All of those things are happening. Oh shit, Pisces. Oh my God. This is like the best reading ever. The abundant universe will provide. This is Taurus energy. So you're also getting 3D resources. This is not just you get to live in the world that you always wanted. But Pisces, this is also about you getting to live in the lap of luxury or having all the material resources that you need. You don't have to worry about it. This is like you getting that big deal. This is like you getting the record deal or you getting into the big movie or uh, you getting... Um, um, you getting hired by that, you know, major, uh, a major hospital that you always wanted to work for or well, whatever you are, like a scientific community, a breakthrough, discovering a new planet, that kind of energy, like crazy energy where not only are you going to get public recognition, 
You're the star. You're the star of the show, Pisces. Everything is going your way. This is your world now. But this is public recognition. Aquarius energy, uh, wishes coming true, dreams coming true, wish fulfillment, abundance, living la vie en rose. Pisces, this is such a beautiful week for you. I don't know how else to say it. Wishes fulfilled, dreams come true. Holy moly on high. I can't even, this, this, is, this is it. This is it. Can you handle it? It's like, let me tell you something. And this is the beautiful part. Is it, yes, you can handle it. A hundred percent. Why? Because you're attached to your roots. You know where you stand. You are ready for this kind of glorious abundance because Pisces, Pisces, you're well-rooted now. You've, you, you know, like that's what I'm talking about is you, you're paying homage to all the heartbreak and all the hurt. You're standing on it. It's what's gotten you where you are and it's why you're ready for, and you needed to go through all that to be here in this moment and ready to move forward in this new direction. Why? Because you needed some sort of stability. You needed some sort of roots that would hold you down. And it's those experiences that are holding you down and giving you the wisdom to move forward. And now it's on your own terms, not somebody else's. Ooh, I'm getting fucking chills. Okay, let me flip the camera around. Hold on. So look at the spread. I, I, I've never seen a more beautiful spread. You're, you're in deep. I'm t this, this card makes me so happy because what it does, 5 plus 1, 51, once again, love. You're, you're deep in it. But this is not just shallow stuff. This is not just shallow stuff. You're not just skimming the surface. This is the real deal, man. You got roots here. There is firmness and stability here. There is blow, wind, blow. You're not going to blow me down here. You're not just skimming the surface. This isn't just... Uh, you know, whimsical and you're lost in a fantasy and you're lost in a dream. No, this is the real deal. Uh, real windfall coming at you. You couldn't, you are literally held in place by uh, your heart space, your head space, and your hope space. It's all in alignment. This is this is fulfillment of everything that you are, all of you coming together and being, being, being all at once and available and being together and in per perfect synchrony, synchronicity. Let's see. Uh, let's go into the extended reading. I hope you hop on over. Please do, Pisces. We'll articulate it and go into details and also do a romance reading. I'll see you over there.